Okay, so we're gonna start with the daytime look. And I could totally cop out and just use the um, lip gloss that I was talk talking to you guys about and how great it would be for, for a daytime look. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna attempt to use one of the lipsticks and show you that it can be done for daytime. The one that I'm going to use is the Persistent Plum, the L'Oreal Infallible one. So I'm gonna put this on my lips and then I'll show you how to kind of create a look around it. And the way I'm gonna apply it to my lips is with my finger. I find like, if I apply it with my finger to lips that have just been freshly lip balmed, it creates more of a flush, like it's not so pigmented. Lip balm. Oh, I forgot to go and get more of this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit on my finger. I'm just going to apply it kind of like a dabbing motion. And you can apply it as dark as you want. So I'm going to add a little bit more to make it a little bit more intense. So you can see there, I have it on my lips right now. It's darker for sure, but it's not like, whoa, you have so much lipstick on. I'm just going to take my, uh, what is this? This thing. It is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Concealer, and I'm just going to apply this around the outside of my lips a little bit. Um, it not only helps to highlight them, especially if you have smaller lips, this is a great way to kind of enhance and make your lips appear fuller. But for me, the lining of my lips isn't exact. I don't know how else to describe it. I find when I use a really, really dark lip, I find it completely washes me out. It, I just lose all color in my face. So I find I need to compensate a little bit with a little bit more blush than I would typically use. The one that I'm gonna use here, I'm gonna use a mix of, I think I'm gonna use a mix of these two here. Um, so this is a very bright plum shade, so we're kind of playing the same color family. This one is a very kind of a nude color, just a slight, Flush, and I'm going to mix the two to create more of a more natural look that you could wear to, to work and not appear too rosy. Start at the back and work my way forward because I find if I get most of my pigment out back towards the hairline, I feel it is easier to blend it into the hair a little bit if that makes any sense rather than like piling on all the product at the front and then flushing backwards. I just, I, I don't know, I work backwards a little bit. a little bit of a subtle flush here. Looks so pretty. I am excited because I am going to apply my new favorite highlight which is Floof by MAC. Talked about it in my last favorites video. I love this color. It looks amazing and it's also slightly uh, more of a uh, bluish toned highlight. Kind of a pinky color. It's gorgeous. I love it and it looks amazing with the eyes. Oh look at that. I have mascara. Look at that on my lid. Glad I noticed that three quarters of the way through filming. That's just great. I'm just gonna focus the highlight just in the inner corner of my eye a little bit, maybe a little bit onto the lid. I'm also going to apply by MAC the Charcoal Brown. Another option I think would be a good one is in the Naked palette, the original one, and I forget what the name of it is, but I'll put it right here if you guys wanna go and check that one out. It's gorgeous, beautiful color. That's another option if you're interested. As you can see, I've removed all of the colors out of my palette. I have them in little quads for traveling. So my MAC palette's looking a little bit naked here. <laughs> but it's this color here. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And that's all I'm going to do for the daytime look. I think it's really fresh, really easy to do for going to work or going to school. You might want to blot down the plum lip a little bit if you're, you know, a little bit younger. Um, but I think it's definitely a fun, a fun look to do. If you want to add a little bit more to the eyes, what I would do is add a little bit of uh, charcoal liner and smudge it into the lash line a little bit. And that's pretty much all the definition that I would do to the eye. You don't want to add too, too much. You want to kind of create one focal point in the face and then leave everything else pretty natural. So that's all I'm going to do for the day look. And now I'm going to go on and do the night look for you guys. Oh my gosh. So I've been sitting here talking to you guys and walking you through everything and I wasn't even filming it. I'm going to show you how I did everything. I am so angry right now. <laughs> so this is the final look, obviously. Um, and what I did is I used the Wet n Wild lipstick. This is the darkest one I found that um, 
that I bought and it's this really dark sort of deep plum shade. All I did is I took my lip pencil here, kind of brushed it onto the product and used that to sort of outline the lips and really create definition and shape and then I kind of filled it in. Then I used my lipstick, filled all of it in. So angry. <laughs> so aggravating. Next, to really balance out the really, really dark lip, I wanted to balance it out with a brighter cheek. So what I did is I took that same plum shade that I showed you guys before and just really deepened the color on my cheeks a little bit, added a bit more of a flush because otherwise the color just drains out of your face, I find. For the eyes, I just kind of added on top of the daytime look that I already had. So if you have any sort of highlighter, I would suggest using that as well. And I'm just deepening that um, existing look. So what I did is I took the Annabelle Smooth Liner, and this is in gunmetal, and I all I did is I lined the outer uh, edge of my eyes and created a little bit of a slight wing. And to create that perfect sort of symmetrical cat eye, just use like the outer edge of uh, any sort of, <laughs> looks like I'm about to pick my nose. Don't do that. And place on the outside of one nostril and along the out just to the outer edge of the eyebrow and that's going to show you exactly where to create that line so you can either keep it there and then draw along it or I just use it as kind of an eyeball kind of guesstimate um, and that helps me to make sure that they're kind of symmetrical on both sides so once you apply the eyeliner to both sides and you can apply it all the way across if you're really daring and depending on your eye shape mine is a little bit smaller so I find that really closes off my eye a lot so I just apply it to the outer edge and then I smoke it out and I use that with my, where is it, here we go, kind of a flat angle brush like this and all I'm going to do is kind of lift like this and up along the outer edge as well and that just creates a little bit of a ju juxtaposition I find with the really really pigmented lip that's super defined. I find adding a little bit less definition to the eyes just makes it balance. I don't know if that makes any sense but for me that works really well and I find the gray is really a lot better for my really pale skin. I find the really dark black kind of washes me out a little bit and is a little too stark for me. Um, and then to kind of smoke out my eyes a little bit further and um, make them look a little bit wider and bigger. I'm going to be using one of my favorite palettes. This is the Lorac palette. I forget, I don't actually know what this palette is called but it's the purple crocodile one. And on the inside, it has all these beautiful, beautiful shades, and they range in sort of that smoky gray purple to really a nice pale highlight shade. So it has a lot of different options here, which are great. And what I use is this sort of a purpley gray tone. And what I did is I added that to sort of like the outer edge of my eye, so kind of right about here and into the crease a little bit. And that just, I don't know, it just makes my eyes feel bigger and that is it oh no it's not it is not it the other thing I did with the Annabelle liner is I lined the upper waterline I don't actually know if that's what it's called but that's what I that's what I lined and all that's gonna do is just make your lashes appear a lot fuller and thicker since my eyebrows are already naturally full I didn't do anything to them but you might want to if you have really sparse um, eyebrows I would suggest kind of filling them in a little bit as well but that's pretty much it. That's all I did for this particular look. I apologize, guys. I cannot believe that it wasn't recording. That's so annoying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this talking about different trends and different um, ways to wear them. If you're interested in learning more about the products and seeing photos and all that kind of stuff that I talked about in this video, the link to the blog post will be below and you can go and check that out. And I hope you guys are having an amazing week and have a wonderful weekend. And I will talk to you all soon in my next video. Love you girls so much. Mwah.